Well, if you're a boxing fan or from the Philippines, then you know the name Manny Pacquiao. But if you don't know, you will be stunned by his skills in the ring. He's fighting tonight at Cowboy Stadium in Dallas, front of like 45,000 people. But uh, he's not just about the leather. No, he's uh, also a big star out of the ring. And John Berman tells us why. Welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pacquiao. He's one of the biggest stars on the planet, but no, blessedly, not for his singing. My love for, nothing's gonna dance, my love for you. While Manny Pacquiao can only sort of hit the high notes, what he can hit is his opponents. And he hits them repeatedly and hard. It's funny because well, like, when he hits a heavy bag, it's like the whole gym stops. And, and, and they watch me. They, it's just like it's like a machine gun. When you throw a punch, what's going through your head? Power. An obscene amount of power from this 31-year-old man, not quite five foot seven, barely weighing 150 pounds. Pacquiao. He's won seven different boxing titles in seven different weight classes. Nickname. The Executioner. Unquestionably the biggest star in a sport in need of new big stars. Champion of the world! I'm always worried about what I can give to, to the people who, who are going to watch the fight. I want them to satisfy and enjoy the, you know, my performance every fight. But Manny is too smart and too fast for it. What Manny Pacquiao has given to boxing, boxing has given back to him. Abandoned by his father in the Philippines, he left home as a teenager because his mother didn't have the money to feed him. At first, boxing was a way to eat. Last year, he made $35 million. His rags to riches story, practically mythic. Every day he trains in this Los Angeles gym, there's a crowd outside to greet him. Every day inside, celebrities there to watch him. This is Ron Perlman, who you might know as Hellboy. In the Philippines, his popularity is godlike. They say the crime rate drops when he fights because everyone's watching TV. The shine even rubs off on his trainer, Freddie Roach, a Boston guy. I mean, they say it's Manny, the president, and me, the most popular people in the Philippines. Pacquiao is so popular and committed to his country, after this fight, he's heading home to run for Congress. In the Philippines, we, we need a, um, a leader that want to help the to the poor people. But if that doesn't work out, he has more than boxing to fall back on. <laughs> There's his acting. It's kind of a Spider-Man mix, uh, like, mix to um, Superman, like that. I, I have a lot of powers. Do you like having powers? Yes, you know, flying. And if they ever make a sequel to Braveheart, he's a shoe-in. freedom! Oh, from Scotland. I'm from Scotland, fighting for freedom against the Englishman. And then, of course, there's his singing. Somehow, he has two platinum albums. Soft songs? Yeah. Songs about love and feeling. Because mm -hmm. you're a lover. Yes. And a fighter. Lover and a fighter. Perhaps a better fighter than a crooner. But honestly, if Manny Pacquiao wants to sing, who's going to stop him? For Good Morning America, John Berman, ABC News, Los Angeles.